Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Since it's a new year and we're talking all about starting off on a fresh start, that is the theme for this month. Well, I really wanted to do a brow video. Brows are such a foundation for your face. So to really start off on a fresh start, we wanna make sure our brows are on point. My brows are the best they've ever, ever been. So I'm gonna share with you guys all my tips on how I got them to be as good as this. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also add me on Instagram. All right, let's get into my top tips for getting beautiful, full, natural brows. So I know some of you guys are gonna say, oh, you have perfectly natural brows. That is absolutely not true and to prove it, Let's go down memory, memory lane a little bit to show you guys the history of my brows. Let's look back at a few old videos to prove to you that my brows were not always like this. They were so thin, the shape was absolutely terrible. They were nowhere near to what they are now. This is hands down the best my brows have ever been. I'm gonna share two tips with you guys on how my brows have really changed. And then I'm gonna go into the brow tutorial on how to fill in to get beautiful, perfect brows. If you wanna skip straight to the brow tutorial, just go to this time mark right here. So the first tip I wanna share with you guys is a product that I have been talking non-stop about. Changed my brows and it works amazing. It is the Grande Brow Serum. I started using the Grande Lash for my lashes and the Grande Lash worked amazing. I've been talking about that non-stop as well. After I had so much success with the Grande Lash, I was like, well, let me try the Grande Brow. It's a serum, it comes on a little wand like this and basically you brush it through your brows to make your brow hairs grow thicker and longer. I love this because because what I would do is I would apply the serum specifically in the areas where there was like missing hair or like the bald spots in my brows and a lot on my ends because my ends were really short and they didn't really grow. So I would apply a lot on my ends, a lot on the arches of my brows. Within months, my brows were so much thicker and so much fuller. The hair was longer. It gave me the opportunity to actually shape them and trim them to look perfect. Perfect. This serum is so, so good. If you guys haven't tried it, Grande Brow and the Grande Lash, I really, really recommend. Tip number two that I have that completely changed my brows within the last year is, <laughs> let me start by saying I have been plucking my own eyebrows ever since I was a little kid. So I think I started plucking my brows in maybe like 12 or 13. I've always been way too scared to let anyone touch my brows. So I always just pluck my brows by myself. And I thought that I was doing a great job. Boy, was I wrong because I was not doing a great job and I had no idea what a difference it makes to have a professional professionally shape your eyebrows. So last year, for the very first time, I got my eyes professionally shaped and groomed by a professional. It completely changed everything. The shape became perfect. It was totally symmetrical. So if you've never had your brows professionally shaped by a professional, eyebrow artist, I really, really recommend it. What she's gonna do is she's going to clean up your brows, pluck them, wax them, threading, whatever they use. She's gonna get that shape perfect. When you go back on your own, you're gonna be able to keep it up and groom it so much easier because you know exactly where you need to pluck and where you need to clean up and where you need to leave the hair. So my tip for you guys, if you're going to go get your eyes, eyebrows professionally done because you can go to someone and they can really mess them up, is do your research. I researched so much and I literally researched on Instagram. That's all I did. I researched on Instagram and I searched for before and afters for people's work and I like looked on referrals and people that I thought had great brows to see who does their brows and I researched and researched and then I found someone local who was amazing. I'm gonna put her information below in the description box. Of course she's in LA so if you're not in LA then that's not gonna work but what my recommendation to you is do your research, really find someone who's amazing, make sure you see their work to know that it's your style because there's People here in LA that are really famous for brows, 
they are not my style because they do like that super fake perfect brow that's not my style at all so I needed to find someone who was my style so that's my recommendation to you is to really do your research and then once you find someone you like go get your brows professionally shaped and cleaned up and groomed every six weeks it will transform your face it will seriously transform your face. <laughs> and now I'm gonna show you guys how I fill them in to get really perfect looking brows, but in the most natural way. Even though I have fuller brows naturally, they still need a lot of help. Whether you have really thin brows or kind of medium brows, these steps are gonna work for you no matter what. This is a tool that you're definitely gonna to want to have. It is an eyebrow brush. A brush that has a spoolie on one end and then a brow brush to add powder on the other end. We are going to start with a brown pencil. I get asked a lot, should I use a brow pencil? Should I use a brow powder? A good way to think of it is your brow pencil is like your foundation and your brow powder is like the powder that you put on your face. So if you were to put powder on your face directly without any foundation, you're not going to get a lot of coverage. But if you're to put foundation first and then powder on top, then you're going to get that full coverage you really want. So it's the same thing with this. You want to start with the pencil first to get that really nice filled in base and then you're going to set everything with the brow powder. So the perfect combo is to do both. If you don't want to do both, I would say go for the brow pencil, but if you want like a very, very, very natural undone look, then go for the brow powder. Today I am using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. The color that I'm using is brunette. When you're picking a shade, you want to match the closest you can to your natural brow color. Don't go lighter, don't go darker. If you go too dark, it's gonna make you look really harsh. So try not to go to too dark, that's a key thing. Just try to get as close to your natural color as possible. I always start by brushing up all the hairs just to kind of see where we're at, what we're working with. I like to take a mirror, so when I'm doing my eyebrows, I find that it's easier if I'm looking down, then it can really help get that perfect shape. And I always start with the bottom of my brows. When you start filling in from the bottom and work your way up, your brows are gonna look so much more natural than filling in from the top. And I don't ever do anything in the front part of my brow. So I'm gonna start about three quarters of the way in. You guys are gonna see that this pencil pretty much matches my brows exactly. And then I'm tracing a line all the way across. And then once I come to the end, because my brows are a little bit short and we want that shape of the brow to be perfect, I'm going to extend it just a little bit. Now to make sure you're not extending the ends too far or keeping them too short, you're gonna line up any kind of makeup brush from the outside corner of your nose, the outside corner of your eye, all the way up to the brow, just to see where that should end, and it should end right about there. So we could even take it just a tiny little bit more, but that's about it. That's as far as I wanna go. So once I have that bottom line, then I like to brush the hairs down to fill in the top. When you brush the hairs down, you're gonna really see where the areas are that are missing hair and then you just focus on that and that will help you get again a really natural shape without the brow looking cray cray. <laughs> we don't want that unless you're into that look but for me you know I'm always trying to keep it as natural as possible. So I'm just filling in the areas that really need to be filled in and then matching that with the tip that we drew earlier. and then going back and filling in the rest of the top part of the brow. And I'm just making sure that any areas at the top of the brow that had sparse hairs, I'm going back and filling all those areas in. You always wanna be working with your spoolie. It's the best way to kind of, oops, oh my God, don't do that. <laughs> Where did it even go? Okay, so try to keep the spoolie in your hand or the actual entire pencil in your hand, but you're gonna see like having the spoolie on hand is gonna really help brush the product out a little bit so it looks more natural. 
So next you want to take your pencil one more time and, and then fill in a little bit more at the front of the brow. Now the key is you're not going to take it all the way to the very front. You're going to leave this part super bare. That's so important because if you start filling in the front of the brow, it's going to look so harsh and it's going to look so unnatural where you don't you really don't even need to fill in the front at all because the shape is already there. It's the end that really matters. But but keeping this part clean is the most important thing. It's just gonna soften your face. Any little areas in this part here, in the middle part of the brow, I'm just going back and filling that in, and at the same time, just brushing it all out with the spoolie. So next step, you can take a little bit of brow powder to set your brow. You definitely don't have to do this. The brow pencil is already enough, but if you really want like a bit more of a defined brow, this is a great option. The one that I'm using today is from Maybelline. This is the Brow Drama Pro Palette in the color 260 Deep Brown. It's great because you're getting the two shades of brown, so you could either use one or the other or mix and match to get your perfect color. And then you're also getting the nude to highlight the brow bone. So I'm gonna kind of mix and match between the two. And now I'm using the other side of my brow brush. And when I'm filling in, same thing, I'm not filling in the front of the brow at all. I'm just gonna fill in in the same areas we applied at the pencil and following the exact same steps. So starting from the bottom, and I should mention that when I'm doing all of this, I'm super, super light-handed. So I'm like barely applying any pressure at all. And I'm not choking the brush, like I'm not holding the brush over here. I'm holding the brush farther out, so it just makes the pressure a lot lighter. Then you're going to do the same thing again and brush the hairs down and apply the powder where you need it to make sure the brow looks really full. And then brush the hairs again one more time. Next up, you wanna set your brows in place with a brow gel. The one that I'm using today is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Clear Brow Gel. You can use either a clear brow gel or a colored brow gel. Again, if it's colored, you want it to match your natural hair color. It's a, just a personal preference. I personally just like clear brow gels because I don't need, my brows are already thick, so I don't need the color. One thing that I really love about brow gels is that as soon as you stroke them through your brows, it kind of makes the brows look more natural because it creates the, um, it really accentuates the hairs. Whereas when you have a bunch of powder and color, it kind of makes the hair texture disappear. So the brow gel puts that hair texture back into your brows. So it really helps make the brow look a lot more natural. And I really like this one because it totally holds your brows in place really, really well. But you guys see how like all of a sudden now you can really see the hairs, whereas before, it looked really dark so you couldn't see them as much. And then the last step is a little bit of cleanup. This is optional. I don't always do this step. So I'm taking just a concealer palette and a flat little brush here. And all you're going to do is clean up underneath the brows to get a super, super defined clean line on your brows. And it's just gonna make it look really sharp and clean. So some people definitely do it top and bottom. I'm going to do just the bottom today because I don't like that really defined look. It's just not my personal style, but you could for sure do a top and bottom if you want. But you guys can see like it cleans up the look so much more and pretty much makes your brows look perfect. <laughs> If you want, you could also take a little bit of that brow powder that usually comes in brow palettes and just use that to set the concealer and blend everything out. So 
So you can compare both sides, there is a huge difference. Even though I have like naturally more fuller brows, there's still a really, really big difference. And that is how you get perfectly filled in, defined brows without looking crazy, without looking too harsh. It's just a really pretty natural brow. Be sure to hit subscribe if you're new for a lot more beauty videos. Add me on Instagram at Iman. Remember guys, brows are cousins, not sisters. They do not need to look exactly the same. And if you guys haven't seen my latest video, make sure you click right here. Thank you so much for watching watching and I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Bye!